Number 19 on our cross-country flight plan has us add up the total time and calculate our fuel burn and consider extra fuel for our ground operations as well as our reserve fuel. Now we have um, places here that we can fill in and I could calculate out each individual leg how much fuel I'm going to burn. So I'll do just one for an example, but in reality we could just take our total time and then figure it out by uh, gallons per hour. But I'll show you in case you want a little extra practice with the E6B, then let's do this one here. It says that we're going to burn nine gallons an hour for cruise, so we're going to use the second formula, and it says to set the pointer to our gallons per hour. So I need to make the pointer point to something that would represent nine. So this 90 will work. Okay, so we're pointing at nine gallons per hour, and then it says total gallons and then time. So if we burn nine gallons an hour for six minutes, so that has to be on the inner scale, this could represent four, four and a half, five, five and a half, and six. So they just happen to be one and the same. And then it wants to know how much fuel would I burn for that six minutes. Well, nine gallons doesn't make sense for six minutes, so it'd have to be 0.9. So basically you're going to burn 0.9 of a gallon, or you could just call it one if you wanted to, just to uh, even the numbers. So we could go through and do the fuel like that for each leg, but um, you don't have to waste time doing that. You could just simply take your total, which is 56 minutes. So if we burn nine gallons a minute, or sorry, nine gallons an hour for 56 minutes, then I have to go find something that represents 56 minutes. So here's that the minutes are on the inner scale. So we have 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and I need 56 minutes. So basically, that's 55, 56, and I go up here. So it looks like 8.4 gallons for the flight. Well, we might as well round it up to nine just to be on the safe side. So it looks like we would use nine gallons of gas for the flight portion. Now, what else would we need to consider? Again, there's a little notation here to remind us of all the different things we may, may want to consider when we're considering how much fuel we need to take. Remember that when we were uh, looking at our takeoff chart, it said 1.4 fuel, uh, 1.4 gallons of fuel to consider for your engine start, taxi, and run up. And we said we would just round that up to two. So we're going to add two gallons in here for our engine start, taxi, and run up. Then we may want to consider any possible vectoring, to, or if I didn't fly exactly straight, if I'm not going to fly with an autopilot, I may, you know, swerve a little bit or raise and lower my altitude a little, not on purpose, but that would definitely take more gas. So I could consider that. The other thing is our fuel reserve. So the FAA requires us to have 45 minutes of fuel reserve for nighttime and 30 minutes of reserve for daytime. Well, 30 minutes of reserve doesn't go a very long way if you arrived at Columbia to find out that an airplane had a flat tire on the runway and the airport's closed and now you have to get yourself organized and go fly to another airport that you didn't originally plan on. So most pilots disregard both the 45 minute reserve and the 30 minute reserve and just make it one hour. That way we always carry a little extra fuel. So how much do we burn for one hour? nine gallons. So we have nine gallons for the flight, two gallons for the engine start, taxi, and run up, and then we have nine gallons for our reserve fuel. So we need a minimum of 20 gallons to make this flight.